Are you ready to oil, motherfucker? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna oil so fucking hard, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna oil all of your. I'm gonna oil all of your fucking balls. Just gonna. Oil, 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 oil. Just can't wait to oil on your. Just on your balls. I'm gonna. Oi! Hey! Hello. Oh gosh, my ears hurt. <laughs> Hello. Hello, mate. Hello. Hello, governor. All right. Governor. Welcome Ooh, back. Oh, new flowers is ready. Yes. I, I remember seeing uh, just before we were doing this, somebody in the comments was like, "You turn down your shit. You're that way." Apparently, whenever we're uh, plowing and we're talking, it's like hard to hear us sometimes oh, over this stupid tractor so going skabloosh, skabloosh, skabloosh over and over. Skabloosh. So, yeah. Um, but That's we are back. Yeah, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen's. We farm together. Oh my god, we got the money trees. I'm gonna harvest them right here, bro. Yo, that C job really helps once you get later in the game. I love a good C job. What would a C job be? Um, C job, C job. A ca, a ca. A ca Okay. Oh, I know. What if you just took your eyeballs and slammed it into the tip of a dick? Because you're literally seeing the dick. <laughs> no, seriously, it'd be a C job. I was thinking like the letter C, but yeah. No, no, no. I mean, look at an H day. It doesn't have to do with the letter H. It just has to do with the hand. So why doesn't wouldn't it, a C have to do... Oh, I mean, maybe. I might have been giving bad H days to myself, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that's what it is. What about a ZJ, though? A ZJ? A ZJ. A ZJ is something that neither of us can afford. You have to have at least a $25 million net worth to afford a ZJ. That's a lot of money, bro. I'm harvesting this Artemichokes. Wasn't that for a quest? Apparently not, because we didn't just pop up. No, we just cleared it because it gives you like 1.2 million if you, uh, okay. 1.2 thousand if you harvest it. Oh, okay. sorry, buddy. Is that really ready, though? Yeah, it's ready. It's ready, Freddy, dude. I just been running around since I came the gas station because I moved it and then I got confused and scared <laughs> and I started touching myself. That'll happen. Uh, so I think, I think what we're gonna do today, we need to harvest that honey. We can get some diamonds out of that. Um, but I think what we're gonna do, oh, and we'll get a bunch of diamonds out of the fish. We're just gonna have a good time today, guys. That's really all yeah. that matters. No, are, think, are you are you having a good time watching this? I mean, I yeah, I just are. started, but are you having a good? You got your snacks? You got your fucking sodies? Are you are you happy? I'm wow. happy. Um, but I think we're gonna buy a plot, and I think we're gonna start. I think we're gonna turn the entire thing into swordfish. I think that's what oh, we're gonna do. Oh right, yeah. That's gonna cost a lot of money, but we're prepared to do that, and it's gonna be great. I kind of want to put it right over here by the uh, by the other by the hammerheads. Dude, I can't go five more than like ten seconds without coughing. It, it's bad, dude. No, you're fine. Are you just sitting there on that hotkey, just every time? Oh, you bet. <laughs> oh, you bet, Jim. Jim, Billy, Jimbo, Billy, Jimbo, Billy oh, Bob. Gosh, so much snot in my nose, and I don't like blowing my nose. I just like sucking it back up and then pro pro prolonging my sickness. Yeah, it's the only way to do it. It's the only way to do it. Although I don't know why you're taking Claritin. It sounds like you got a cold. Claritin's like allergies. Allergies and congestion. Well, okay, yeah, I guess the congestion, but I'm you congested. Taking... You fuck. You just need to be taking NyQuil and DayQuil, dude. That that fixes everything. Dude, I have a backache. Okay, I just well, try to bottle I don't have either of those. I don't, like, use anything for anything. Use so. Postmates, bro. It's not hard. Post Malone's not coming to my house. Post Malone will literally drive to Walgreens and buy you... Yes, yeah, so we get five imagine... diamonds every, every honey hive. I think I'm going to fill this eventually. I'm going to fill this entire island with more honey. Imagine if Post Malone actually did that. Like, people would probably pay, like upwards of a thousand dollars to have him go to Walgreens and get him shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that would be like a really good... It still wouldn't be worth his time because I imagine his net worth is high enough that he doesn't need a thousand dollars for two <laughs> hours worth of work, right. but... I think it yeah. would be a really good it would be a really good advertising scheme to be honest, like Post oh, Malone yeah. just Post Malone Post just Malone signs makes. into the app and accepts, you know, a couple of the deliveries for a day and they make an ad series around that that would be hilarious. Well, I saw he did a deal with Lyft, and they, uh, did you see that he tweeted about that? Like, he's done the Hollywood Bowl show that you were talking about, and I guess he did a deal with Lyft, so if you put in his code POSTY or some shit, this isn't yeah. an ad, by the way. Um, all the, all the cars are his face driving around the map. Oh my the god, app, so. hilarious. Yeah, isn't that's that awesome? Amazing, like, it's dude. literally just him smiling with a big grin on his face, and all the cars are just circling him. I would do it. I mean, why not? If you're already going to the show, or even if you're just doing anything else that night, why not? Also, yeah. I would, does it save them a little bit of money? They get like 10% off their ride or something, maybe? 
Oh, I'm sure there's some deal. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I just personally hate concerts. I don't Speaking know if that makes of me selling out. No, that's really, well. It's because you're socially introverted, so you just it scares you. Oh no, well, no, I, it doesn't scare me. I just think that it, that people are, you know, I like personal <laughs> space. And, exactly. Okay, so last time, uh, you last don't time like I went people. To, no, no, time out, Hoba. So, you know those <laughs> bitches that have that hair that's literally a rug and it's like thick as can be. Yeah. All right. So I was at a concert, right? And uh, you know, people just keep pushing forward. So you have good seats or, or good a good place to stand, right? But people keep pushing forward because they want to see more. So you eventually end up balls deep in the person oh, like in front the, of you. Like the Aspen concerts that we went to. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's how it works. But it was like a really hot arena with no air conditioning, and this girl in front of me had like a rug for her hair, and like mm. I'm pushed up, pressed against it. My arms are like it's like hair down past her ass. That's uh, hot. And like my arms are like getting stuck into it her hair sticking to me i'm like can't wait move and you couldn't move and it oh it was mad it was just awful dude. So i think you just had like one bad experience is what it sounds well, like. well i've only ever been to like one concert that wasn't an yeah see there you go i've been to a lot of concerts and i don't know i don't have this i i enjoy I'm just not a big a music lot. person either i'd rather just like uh, yeah jack off okay no that's fair that's no, acceptable i would, I would speaking, though I think speaking you... of selling out though um did you notice the? I didn't even know. I feel like they should have told us. We could have like told our fans, because when we were doing that the crew two um, tournament thing, yeah. apparently there there was a code. I don't even know what it was, but there was a code that everybody watching the stream could order uh, Papa John's pizza and save forty percent. That's Are you pretty serious? Great. Yeah, dude. They were running. They should have told us that shit. I know. Like I would have. I would have told everybody. I would have because I got back and people in my Discord were talking about it. They're like, yeah, man. They're Somebody was like, somebody shared the code in my Discord or whatever. It was like, you know, even if yeah. you're not watching the stream, like, use this code. Say, dude, I would have, I would have 100%, like, I would have balled people 40 out. 40% is a big savings, man. Yeah, right? Like, I mean, you know, doing a coupon code during something like that isn't unheard of. But when I saw yeah. that 40%, I was like, yes. I was like, damn, girl. I mean, who wouldn't order a pizza? I don't care if I just <laughs> ate. I'd be like, 40%? Bet. I'll leave it in the fridge, you know? I mean, hell. I didn't hear that because I was coughing. You said something about a fridge? I said, yeah, I mean, even if I, like, literally, like, if you just ate, but if you saw a coupon code for 40% off pizza, wouldn't you just order one and just stick it in the fridge and, like, eat From it From the fridge, yeah, dude. Yeah. Like, I, I don't, I mean, damn, I'd order, like, 14 pizzas. I don't give a hell. This is right there, brother. I don't give a hell. I don't give a... Hey, how many, we're almost how many getting nuts full we vegetables. We need a veggie sale. Hey, you want to sell some nuts over there, failure? Uh, yeah. I'm Let about to go over nuts. and, uh... You want to come? You, come, you won't. You won't come fish them hammerheads with me. Them hammerheads. Yeah, yeah. Let me just finish this green bean field. I'll be right there. Yeah, I'm just... finishing the, the the nut jobs. Oh my god. You take your time, failure. You know what also sucks? I've been wanting to stream recently. I got pretty into streaming, and then I, and then I get sick, and it's like the last thing I want to do when I'm sick is stream. Right. That's how it, you know. That's how it goes, dude. I mean, recording a YouTube video, I can be miserable for 30 minutes. It's like, yeah, it's fine. But a stream, it's I'm just gonna be like, gonna be sniffling on everything. Yeah, no, that. like, if you're, dude, people give a lot of shit to streamers. Like, ah, eh, it's so easy, you just turn it on and play game, man. First of all, if you don't like interact with chat and everything, unless you're like one of the freaks of nature, you're not gonna get donations and stuff like that. You know, like you're not gonna make a living streaming just turning it on and being a fucking boring hunk of shit. Now yeah. there are some exceptions out there, not to mention names. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. It, it, it takes a lot to uh, to do that. Like, cause if you're even if you're in a bad mood, like if I'm in a bad mood, I'm not gonna stream, man, because I, oh, it's gonna sure. it's gonna show, and then no one's gonna be into the stream, and it's just you know it's just not something you should do. It's exactly what it is, man. Yeah, I have for people that Especially are on sick. for eight or ten hours a day, like every yeah. day, and they're on. Like when I mean on, like they're entertaining the entire eight hours. Like yeah. I have nothing but respect for that. That shit. Mm -hmm. Legion's a good streamer because, like, I've traveled enough with Legion to know that some people, like, think Legion's fake and that he's just, you know, like, trying to show off or whatever. No, he's not I, at all. It's, it, like, literally... I have I've heard people say that before. It always confuses yeah. me. It's, I've sat I mean, in I mean, I guess, you, I, guess I, I can I've, sort of see that, but he's not fake. Like, he's I've had a hotel that. room with That's the guy. I, I've been in airports with the guy for hours on end. The, like, he literally doesn't stop moving. He's He's constantly, like... It's kind of like he has ADD, and I'm not trying yeah, to say that like a negative way or anything, but yeah. he's just like he just can't stop. He doesn't. He, he literally like you can have an Uber ride with him. I had an Uber ride that was damn near two hours to our uh, to our hotel from the yeah. from the airport, and like he like silence just isn't something he can handle. <laughs> he just has to like. 
be doing something or making a joke or talking to the Uber driver about something ridiculous. That's just how he is, and and those kind of people flourish like. Oh yeah, they kill it's, him. it's like Ninja, you know, like Ninja. He, you can tell he's just kind of an antsy dude. He's just always talking and cracking a joke yeah. and whatever. He's just a fucking hyper dude. And oh, and, and can I just say something? And this doesn't matter. Like, not you know, this isn't gonna like change anything in the world. But like, someone the other day tweeted Ninja and I and said, "Hey man, uh, your streams are entertaining. I like the actually acknowledge chat, unlike someone." And then put Ninja in parentheses, right? And I just want to say, like, first off, don't don't do that shit because for for Ninja, it's so much different, dude. He has 130,000 no people there. It is impossible to thank every fucking sub, dude. Leave leave Ninja alone, bro. It's hard right? enough to acknowledge 500 people. Shit, even 100 I, uh, people in your yeah, chat. That, like, I mean, he was, it was a compliment to me, but it didn't... And I'm sorry for watching this, because I, I didn't, like, recommend you when you said this to me on Twitter. I just wanted to ignore it, but, like... um, Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Like, I, I thought it was a little rude to Ninja, you know? Especially because he added him. Yeah, some people are just chodes. But, I mean, he was he was being nice to me, but like, so I don't want to like be mean to him or anything. But like, there's no reason to bring Ninja and and make someone else feel bad for that. No, it's like Ninja chose Speedy. It's fine. It's like, do you realize how impossible it would be to thank, like, when he, like when Twitch Prime like does another loot drop and he gets sixty thousand subs in a day? Do you really want him to sit there and thank every single one? Because then right. no one would watch him because he would just be thanking people all the time. I wouldn't want to hear that shit. Oh, I wouldn't either. Ones. I'm an idiot. Make sure these fuckers just fade. Anyway, sorry for the little rant there. I just wanted to. No, just and I, I'm guilty of. Ninja like, handles it well. I used to watch Ninja all the time, and like I don't watch him as not as much now, because like no, one of those. It, it is like one of those things. Once people blow up, like once it's mainstream, it's less entertaining to me. I don't know. And I, yeah, and I like, again, I, I'm not trying watching... to say anything negative about Ninja, yeah. but like it gets to the point where you can't be as good with that you know you can't be as interactive with the chat you can't be yeah. as whatever like and you can't even read chat because it's just full of a bunch of fucking dip tards sitting there saying the same fucking thing over and over and over and trying to spam something in the chat and think they're funny and they're not and it's just like mm -hmm. man i liked watching ninja back when he wasn't popular <laughs> like to be honest you know mm -hmm. and i feel bad because it's like you know he still deserves viewership but i mean just me you know he ain't gonna do nothing yeah, but you know change anything all right, so oh, I've done. Few, plant filler? I've done a few things here and there. We ain't we ain't planting shit. Remember, we're going over, uh, and we're gonna fish out all them damn oh, hammer right. heads. You right, you right, you right. We're gonna fish out the hammer heads, and then we're gonna buy a plot, and we're gonna put in. I did plant some grapes though, cause they looked pretty. You slut. We're gonna we're gonna <laughs> fish out the hammer heads. We're gonna get the diamonds for it, and then we're going. Those corn looks sick. To do a bunch of uh, swordfish. That's the I, I really like these orange trees in this cornfield. Like that, it looks awesome. You should like it. All right, what's our fish level? We're good. Should I fish with you? Yeah, just go ahead. I mean, I, you have to sit here and do it 40 times. So, There's no by all means. That. We're already level 34 in hammerheads. That's insane. Oh hell yeah. That's gonna be like the highest level thing in our farm. Do we have it? I mean, do we anything higher than 35? I'm sure we do. Uh, like, alone probably. Problem. Hold on, I'm curious. I'm sorry. There's 40 diamonds. Watermelons are level 40. Uh, what else did we plant a lot of? Strawberries? Strawberries are level 39. Shiitakes are 20. Shiitake? I don't think that we would have anything higher than watermelon or strawberries, right? That's crazy. Yeah. So, hammerheads are about to be our highest level thing. Hells yeah, brother. <laughs> oh, God. We're getting so much, dude. We're 47 and a quarter-ish on our on our farm level, which is pretty good. I know, we hit 47 today, so... I really want to hit 60. When we finish this, will you head back yonder behind you? There's the raised island over there. You yeah, like yeah, to fish I'll, that I'll out twice. Them, yeah. I think I'm going to buy this plot right here. It's not the best in the world, but, I mean, it'll work. Um, yeah. Where are you at? I'm going to buy it, dude. I'm doing it. Yeah. Done. Done. And now... The long, slow process. Well, let's go ahead and put two hammer heads right here. Are swordfish better than hammerheads, or you just want to do swordfish to change it up? Uh, I don't remember. I think they are. I think they're more expensive. It, it cost me like 1.5 million to do all these hammerheads, so it's going to cost us about 3 million because I remember them being twice. Oh, yeah, swordfish expensive. are more expensive. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. It's going to be crazy, dude. It's going to be crazy. Prices on them aren't. Oh, that's probably because we leveled it up so much. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I was like, dude, it's like almost the same amount to get a big catch on Hammerhead, but it's probably because they're level 38 on Hammerheads. Oh, it's going to be nuts, dude. 
I've already started the spending. We started about 11 and a half million. Just remember that. We'll see how He's far so our money goes down. All right, I'm putting a point of interest over here then. This might get a little, uh... I know, we didn't show you guys, I didn't show you guys the hammerhead. I did that all off screen. I figure, you know, some of you guys probably wanted to see that, so you guys get to see the swordfish. You get to see that? A little behind the scenes. I'm gonna spend like three million PO, dollars on fish. Today. Over here, Do what? I'm putting a POI over here just so that, uh... Yeah, you want to sell fish again? I'm sure you're able to. Oh, yeah. Or is definitely. it is it 100 or 2? Is it just 100? No, it's it's sold, yeah. Now we have just oh, have 39, I think. Hell yeah. <coughs> oh, they just watch. come over here and start buying swordfish, failure. Alright, swordfish. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a hot minute. You making a big outline first, I see you. Gee, yeah, oh, those boy. palm trees are actually perfect for this. I say we like keep those as like a little island in the middle yeah, of it, unless you want to just that. slam them up there. We, we can, can make like that. a really cool little island in the middle of everything. We can put little, uh, we can put a little sailboat to the side of it or something. Yeah. Make it look a little, a little, a little treasure should... island. Yeah, that, that'd be sick. We need, there's probably nice. even a treasure chest in this game. And that'll mean, yeah, that'll mean this entire <sighs> space will just be one fishable spot instead of like with the hammerheads it's three because i had to go up on the We're two islands i'm sure we can't tractor oh, so stupid you should be able to tractor nine fish at a time yeah i know uh but i am gonna get rid tractor, of stupid ass pumpkin patch i'm gonna tractor delete all this stuff real quick <coughs> Dolly. Why, why is it only doing six can't do the path with it okay this plot next to us is amazing too if we ever want to make it double wide get rid of that Get rid of that. Get rid of that. You can go and hold that. Oh boy, oh boy. I can only do one trail at a time. Suck my fucking finger, Cheryl. I can help you if you want. Who's Cheryl? That's okay, I'll be done in like two seconds. Cheryl's barrels. Cheryl, Cheryl's a whore. Oh, we got some new quests, by the way. Let me uh, let me look at those. Yeah, you I know look it's at not, those. I know it's not too important. Alpine goat, fuck that. Leghorn chicken, <laughs> Ramona's rose, and pomegranate trees, and down, leghorn right? chicken. We have leghorn chickens, we only have 15, so it's just slow coming. Just like uh, pom we probably should put some pomegranate trees down, because that is uh, 10 ribbons. We should probably start only doing the 10 ribbon quest. What's the other yeah, one? that sounds like a pretty good idea, to be honest. Uh, yeah, let's remember to do 10 pomegranates before we get off today. Uh, 80 pomegranates. Oh, I think you literally said 10. But all right, I think yeah, we'll I said 80. 10 ribbons, but I might have said that. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what you said anymore. We'll add some... Should we do 80, or should we just do, like, 20 pomegranates and then... 20, yeah. It's, we're not... I mean, look at us. We have 64 ribbies. Yeah. We ain't hurting for ribbies. And and we like still I haven't put down a gas station, have literally we? literally just golf balls. Yeah, we still never did another one. Mother of oh, God. It's going opposite directions of each other. Yeah. This is goals. Goals AF, bro. I think this plot, I think, is better than the other one. Five thousand at a time, like it ain't nothing but a thing. I mean, when you got eleven million in the bank, like you don't really care, you know. It's just like whatever, do what I want. Have you ever seen these fisheries in real life? Uh, I've been to a fishery before. Yeah, not not swordfish, but. Well, yeah, not swordfish, but yeah, it's it, they kind of do them like this, right? Where it's just like a shallow bed of water, and then there's yeah, like another shallow. one next to it with like a line between them, and. Yeah. It's I remember there was a basketball team we would we would like drive pretty far to go play them and uh, for some reason along the way there's this random ass fishery place. Yeah. Out in that area. We went on like a field trip once. <coughs> it was cool. Get on in here, swordfish. Doom -doom. I'm gonna go out in the ocean and catch myself a red snapper. Mm, mm red snapper. Did you ever fuck with Animal Crossing growing up? I didn't. I really did not. Huh. But that I know, like, a lot of people did. That is unfortunate, huh? I know. I never... Yeah, I know. I suck. I suck eggs, dude. People were really mad at they didn't announce anything Animal Crossing at E3. Yeah, dude, I feel like Nintendo's announcement was, like, only Smash Brothers. They spent, like, an hour showing Smash Brothers, and it's like... I feel like you don't need that. I mean, I know there's a lot of Smash Brothers fan, uh, fans out there. I'm probably going to get, like, crapped on now for saying this, but, like, all they had to do was say new Smash Brothers, and it would have been like, okay, cool. I know exactly what's happening. You know what I mean? It's not like, I don't know. It's not a game that needs yeah. explaining or a bunch of, like, behind the scenes. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just, hey, new characters, new game, and it's going to be fucking awesome. Don't get me wrong. Right. Yeah, no, it looks great. I just suck at it, so I don't play much. 
Dude, I, I seriously am excited for that. That's gonna be a lot of like that's gonna be a fun game to play on stream. Oh, for sure. For sure, dude. Yeah, dude we need that. to play some Mario Kart sometime. Yeah, and then we'll put it on YouTube and, and give and money. give Nintendo free monies. That's the thing. Like, the it, it would be one thing if you could put it up on YouTube and just not make money, but it's like it's even worse what? when it's like, hey, Nintendo, I already bought your game. Would you like some revenue with that? How about no, Nintendo, you backwards thinking stupid fuck company? And I sort of get it if you're a I single don't. player game. But it's not one. Like, I understand if you have a single player Even game then, and, and you, you think it's hurting how many your sales. sales. You understand how many sales Rad Brad drives towards every game that he plays through, single player wise? Oh, no, I, I'm well aware of that. You know, like, it outweighs so much. I mean, sure, yeah, there's going to be some people that are, like, have boring enough lives that just watch a game instead of, like, play it. I probably shouldn't say that. That might offend some people. Some people might maybe can't afford it, so, you know, they just watch through a game instead of instead of playing through it. Um, or it's less stressful for them. Like, sometimes those games give me, people anxiety. Like, I would rather watch someone play Outlast than play Outlast myself. Yeah, to me, I would never, like, a game that I'm interested in buying, any game that I would ever consider purchasing, I'm not going to watch it over playing it. I would just never do that. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think the, the amount of people that Rad Brad ends up selling a game to, you know, far outweighs the few people that yeah. are going to be like, okay, well, I've seen what happens, so now I'm good. And just Nintendo doesn't think like that. Every other company pretty much understands that, but so it's, it's a weird world we live in, man. Weird, weird, weird world. It is really odd. We are... Mm. I, Mario Kart's the perfect YouTube game. Like, there would be a lot of people who made videos on that. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I uploaded an episode of it. You know, I just took some of the stuff I did off Twitch and, and put it up on YouTube. <coughs> it did really, really well um, for Nintendo. Not for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't want to work. that happens, can you see how much money it made, but you don't get it? I don't think so, no. It just says oh, That would be terrible. You can't even, you can't monetize it, so you can't see the analytics on it. It's like, hey, man, you made $74 like, in this video. It, oh. Yeah, it's literally no, like going Nintendo to work and it. clocking in for someone else. Like, you just, I, you can't convince me to work for someone else. I'm sorry. It's like, it'd be different if it was charity or something, but yeah. I don't know. It's not. It's just Nintendo being greedy. Anyway, well, Swordfish. What do you think about them? Um, I think they're pretty cool. Uh, when I played Kaka's Fishing, it was one of my favorite catches. I was pretty oh, happy God. with that. You just had to drop that. Well, I, yeah, you know, it's. I mean, if I'm gonna self promote, I might as well do it DJ Khaled style, he which was really awkward it. yesterday. What do you do? So uh, yesterday was the NBA awards, sorry, um, and uh, he was announcing the first award for NBA Rookie of the Year, and he gets up there and like, first off, he's already cringe bought himself. I don't understand the appeal of that fucking dude. Um, <laughs> and then recently, we found out he doesn't eat pussy, so fuck that guy know, already. Right? That he's, interview was so hard to watch, man. It's like. She's got to do it, because I'm the king. I'm the king, motherfucker. But I don't do that. Nah, that's not for me, man. Like, you would have been yeah. so much better off if you would have just said, like, no, I don't like it. You know? Don't say, like, she has yeah. to do it because she's the king, or because I'm the king. But I don't have to, like, oh, man, you made yourself he's look like a such idiot. a fucking dick. Anyway, um, he gets up there, and he's like, and the winner of NBA Rookie of the Year goes to... Oh, and by the way, um, make sure you guys buy my new album when it comes out. It's not out yet, but uh, when it does come out, be, be sure to buy it. And then Jesus. they cut over to, like, Shaq and Charles Barkley and all those guys, and they yeah. look so disgusted by the fact that he just did that. Like, they <laughs> looked so awkward, and, like, I don't know why they even put the camera on them, but they were just like, really, dude? Is you really, you're going to go up here and self-promote like that? I need to look that up. That sounds interesting. Oh, yeah, it's cringy as fuck, dude. And then I get on Twitter to make sure I'm not the only one who found this cringy, and uh, Twitter's, like, just ripping him a new dick, so... That's, yeah. Talk Dude, about ways Twitter's to like, why do they keep too. putting this fucking guy on TV? Right? Yeah, like, I'm sure... It's already promoting enough like just that. to be there. Yeah, exactly. You know what just I mean? your like, face everyone's being Everyone's watching it. the NBA Awards. Because, like... Well, because that's the thing. It's going to be like, if it's if it's in the news, like, DJ Khaled announced the winner for blah, 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 who has an upcam upcoming album. You know, like, that just kind of happens anyways, organically. So, yeah. do it like that. It just kind of feels, feels icky to everybody. Yeah. I would think. I just always find self-promoting, like, and if, if it's done in a joking way, it's fine. But, like, his wasn't joking. Like, it's, it's always going to be cringy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, if you really need those extra 1,000 sales you get from being a douche, douche nozzle, then I guess go for it, but... Right? I don't know. I mean, to be honest, in that way, it might have even worked out even better for him because he's got, you know, all the backlash from it. Is much oh, it's just more people, people know it. It's just more advertising, yeah. Crazy, bro. 
That's how it works, though. Are we almost done? Oh shit, son. Yeah, that's the final little little niblet. Oh shit, son. It's up to you if you want to design that island today, but. Oh, we can do that for sure. We can do that for sure. Oh my god, we almost did it, brother. Oh my god, Becky. Put that in my mouth. Do it. Yes. Boom! Look at this cute little island up here, dude. I know, it'd look better if this weird one wasn't next to it, but yeah. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do with it? Yo, is there any cool island themed stuff? Yeah, there's a. Isn't there a lighthouse? <coughs> is there, there a lighthouse? Light? No, there's a windmill. Where the fuck's Cape Cod at? Here's the boat. You wanna put the wooden boat down? Where is this fucking Cape Cod? Yeah, put the boat down. I trust you, bro. Um... Do we need to get rid of some. How, how's that work? You have to get rid of some of the. You do it. You've done it before. Alright, I'll put a beach ball over here. Ball. Let's see where the boat is. Right there. Oh shit, yeah, you gotta do it on land. I did those things first, so I gotta delete a couple. Where should we put it? Like right. Right here. We'll put it right here. Sweet. Those. Get that boat back. <coughs> Boo yeah! Look at that. Mofa. That is just cute as hell. You kicked the beach ball into the sharks or the swordfish, rather. Did I really? I don't even think I did it on purpose, Billy. All right, what else can we put? It? Oh yeah, and there's a buoy. I'm putting these date palms down because they look fucking amazing. I right, did. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see here. <laughs> Little kite action, dude? Oh, a kite for sure, dude. I think it should be going the other way, though. Shit. God, those day palms are just great. I want to go put some of those over by the other little thing we built. There you go, the kite looking that is mighty not fine. The way what is happening? I'll give it a little more space. <laughs> what is going on, dude? You got two kites. Brothers in arms. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. I wanted it going towards the water. All right. I think I think it's pretty good, dude. Yeah, I think that's... I think that's good, dude. I mean... That looks sick. It would be nice if there was something else, like, themed that we could put on the island, but I don't... Yeah, it would be nice if there was a little... We're, we're, you know, we're limited, but right? over palm training, it never so hurts So let's anyone. see how many... So we have 671 hammerheads, 638 swordfish. So we are just going to make all kinds of bankaroni off of uh, our swordfish and hammerheads over here. It's going to be oh, pretty yeah. cool. We're going to make quite a bit off... We're going to get quite a bit of diamonds just from fishing these out. What's the harvest dude, time you can literally these? get on it. It's two hours, dude. You can get on every oh, two hours and just God. get fucking paid. Yeah, if we gave people harvest capabilities on this, we would just... Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy to think bank. how much money this farm could make if we maximize, like, time, but obviously... Yeah, like, if we played more than every other day. Or even yeah, less than insane. that, a lot of times. Yeah. Wow. Alright, well, do we have anything else to do? Let's kind of check around the farm. Let's see. I'm gonna go feed these leghorns again, because we need them for... Ooh. Are those ready? Dude, they eat yeah. food so fucking fast. It's insane. Oh, yeah, make sure all of our animals are fed. Yeah. yeah these animals need to calm down, dude. This is right? Because they're like partying and shit. They should have auto feeders. Why don't we do that right now? Is there auto feeders? Yeah, there's fucking auto feeders. Where the hell they are? There's like a trough. Animal feeders right next to the mushroom. Four ribbons. Give additional food. Oh, it's in the house. Animal machines for resources. Right next to the shroom. Ah, oh, there it is. Four ribbons, though. Wowzers. I don't know if that's worth it, dude. I mean, what the but hell? Otherwise, we just have ribbons that we're never going to use. So. Yeah, what the hell else are we spending? Where do you put it? I don't know how it works. Yeah. Does it have to be like an on a. On a... So 
Does that just automatically put food into that pile, or do you get get rid of that? Oh. I don't know, dude. We'll just try it out on these two. They'll be experimental feeders. Yeah. So I'm. Yeah, I get. Maybe that'll. I don't know. We're gonna find out. There you go. I like how you did that. That looks kind of creepy. It's like eyes. Or something. Yeah, it's a little scary. It's a little interesting. But uh, thanks for coming out, guys. Appreciate you all and your love for this series. We're having a lot of fun with it. And we hope you guys are too. We're taking this farm all the way to level 50. And then, yeah. uh, I really want to buy all the land. Uh, so I think in the near future. Oh, I want to get it to 60, dude. I want to see what the final yeah. prop is. As long as we can keep, as long as we can keep thinking of fun things to like do with new plots. Yeah. Or something. Um, I think I might open it up to where people can help us harvest and all that. Mm -hmm. um, just right now, that's a lot to you know. That, that's that a could large really part help us our, on the grind to sixty. Yeah. Yeah, but right now, that's a large part of our episode content is like harvesting and planting. So we don't want it to be, you know, completely. So we, we'll, we'll figure it out though. We'll let you guys know. Yeah, we'll figure we, it out. We'll figure it out. We'll let you guys know. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye bye. Later, nerds.